everyone. I'm going to demonstrate on how you can face your students' attendance if you have forgotten to set the online attendance function. So first, go into your course. Then, click on the left. You can see reports. Click reports. And then, you can click logs. So this is where you can explore what the participant will center your activities. Let's say you want to specify a certain activity to see who has a login. So choose that activity and then get the box. Right. So from this, you can download it. Go down in the page and press download. See now it's ready and open it. I'm going to use Excel for this. So now the file is open. As you see here, uh, this is all the uh, records of students who has access for that specific event. Now uh, for you to generate who has attended, just click on the left side in the worksheet and then go to data. And then remove the duplicates. Choose the column. I show again. Go to data menu. And then click this. Remove duplicates. Then we want to remove the CMB. Okay. So duplicates has been removed. And under the full name you can see the list of the students who has attended the session and this can become your uh, attendance uh, record so you can print this or you can attach this together with your record, uh, attendance record uh, the second approach to do this is to if you have set up the completion tracking so what i mean by completion tracking is that if you go to your course administration block on the left, again, then you can see edit settings. The edit settings. You can see um, the completion tracking. So click completion tracking and enable it. So the difference is that when you use completion tracking, uh, let me demonstrate add one activity so make sure that you have clicked and editing on so click and editing on I'm using a different layout here I'm using grid layout so I have this thumbnails so let's say I want to edit here an activity then let's say you want to have Choice function. So this choice function enables us to do something like polling. So press add. And here you can put this because this is for polling. Then you can set up. Let's say what is the like this. Uh, this is just an example. Then here you can put any choice uh, this is the highlight not the activity completion here you can choose whether the student uh, three options on the completion tracking and it will be uh, very good if you choose this so it will, make, will automatically uh, monitor if the students have access that activity you can uh, fill this up Just examples and then save and display. So this will be accessible to the student. Uh, when you want to find whether the student has accessed it, you can go to again on the left side. Let's go back to the course and then on the left, you can see reports. Click reports. You can see this activity report as well as activity completion. Click activity completion. In activity completion, you can see this. So these are all the um, records of student who has access. So the tick means the student uh, has completed. 
uh, you can just uh, hover on it to see whether the screen has completed. So very easy. I hope it's going to be useful for you. Bye.